Somebody says fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. The blue seas, flame walks, power relief. This is the voice of fire. Revealing Jesus, meeting destinies with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Welcome to your favorite program on television, Voice of Fire TV broadcast presented by Celebration TV. God has a word for your life. God has a word for you. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrows, and is a descender of the thoughts and intents of the earth. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, he says he upholds everything but the word of of his power in Matthew 24 verse 35 he said heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away please stay glued to your TV set there is a word coming for your life get your pen get your paper let's travel into scriptures as God's word will penetrate your life invade your life and invade your privacy and give you solution and I'll be right back to pray with you after this time out happy view perfume why did they bring perfume jesus was born in a manger and he has mixed up with animals with cattle with goats with sheep they had to give him perfume so that when jesus grow up he will not have body odor what did they give him next it was gold why did they give him gold to prove that he was a king that he was royalty and they gave him my what what is my my is an oil for embalmment you use it for burial to prove that this one one day he will be killed so he was given frankincense for aroma he was given gold for royalty he was given my for burial they saw his tomorrow you are not wise because you speak grammar you are wise because you see tomorrow today you are not wise because of how you dress you are wise when you see tomorrow today don't despise the day of little beginning who are despised the day of little beginning you shall see the plummet in the hands of Zerubbabel crying with a gray stone on it there is a future ahead of you though thy beginning was small thy latter end shall be greatly increased lift up your eyes and shout hallelujah He said, destroy them. Somebody said, destroy them. You are not talking this much. Say, destroy them. Say it again. Say, destroy them. One more time, destroy them. Say, destroy them. God said, I'm giving you this command. Don't spare them. I've loaded you. You see, how many of you have heard of the name of God, Jehovah Jireh? What is that? Provider. Jehovah Shammah. Huh? Huh? Shammah. The Lord, not the Lord is present. The Lord is there. Jehovah Shalom. Peace. Jehovah Mekadishkem. Jehovah Sikeno. 
mm, sanctifier. All right? Jehovah Kwana. No? Jehovah Tibera is God of fire. Jehovah Kwana, the jealous God. The jealous is called Jehovah Kwana. The jealous God. The names of God are not a revelation of what he can do. They are a revelation of who he is. God is not a provider. God is provision. It is you that is a provider. Jehovah Rofeka, God is not a healer. God is healing. He empowers you to be a healer. Jehovah Sik, Jehovah Mekadishke, God is not your righteousness. God is righteous. You have become the righteousness of him. So, the names of God reveal who he is. That is why he said to Moses, when Moses said, who are you? He said, I am that I am. I was reading the original manuscript and I was screaming when I saw what he meant. The original word to Moses was, when Moses said, who are thou Yahweh? God said, I am who you think I am. I am whatever you take me to be. If you see me to provide, mm -hmm. if you see me to bless, mm -hmm. if you know I can kill, mm -hmm. I am what you take me to be. I am that I am. It's not the name of God. It's not the act of God. It is the nature. Am I, am I talking to somebody here? Because some of us have come to a point in our lives because of the challenges of life we are about giving up. I get irritated when you see battle. Be directly under the atmosphere of the outpour of grace and glory as you worship with us on Tuesday's Word Encounter, 4 p.m. As we get the in-depth of the Word of God. Also Friday, Solution Service with the Dynamic Mother, 5 p.m. Again on Sundays for our prophetic restoration and miracle service. Enjoying grace together. First service, 7.30 a.m. GMT plus one. Second service, 8.30 a.m. GMT plus one. Third service, 10 a.m. GMT plus one. This is the home for you. Omega Farm Ministries International Worship Center, Kilometer 132, Benin Okene Abuja Expressway, Auchi, Edo State, Nigeria. I told them yesterday in Castle, I was preaching in Castle for two days, and I told them, as anybody wants to die and goes to buy poison and waits for change, is not ready to die. You want to die, you go and buy poison and you wait for change. You are living this world. What do you need change for? <laughs> you are on your way out. So you leave the change because you are leaving everything. You now wait. Say, I want to buy poison. Say, how much? Say, it's, it's, it's 500. Okay, give me the balance 500. You are not ready to die. If you are ready to die, you leave everything. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, destroy them. And guess what he said? Number one benefit you enjoy. He said, you shall dwell in safety. <laughs> Sir, when the powers of hell are still moving about the street, you are not safe. You are not safe. You are not safe when wickedness still prowls the street. You are not safe. When forces of hell, do you know, do you know, after Mordecai, the king said, carry Mordecai, put him on the horse. He told Haman, he said, and celebrate him round the street. Haman carried Mordecai, he put him on the horse, and he marched him round the street, and said, this is the man that the king delight to honor. As soon as Mordecai returned, in Esther chapter 6 and verse 12, the Bible said, he went back to the gate. Uh -uh. You they just carried from the gate. 
and they move you around the city. The Bible says he came back to, why? He knew that so long Haman was still alive, his celebration was not complete. You can't be safe until they are slain. You can't be safe until they are slain. They are slain is your safety. Pashatakaba. God said there are things you enjoy when you destroy them. Slaughter empowers safety. Judgment empowers justice. Warfare is the platform for welfare. Am I communicating here? Terrestrial combat empowers celestial contact. Until they are slain. You don't get protection until you initiate destruction. He said you shall dwell in safety. To initiate peace, you must instigate war. You, that, that is why you must prepare a wise military or a wise general. A wise nation don't prepare in battle. They prepare for battle. I was, I was reading history of wars. There was a, a, a king in the charge of Mongolia. They called him Krobe Khan. One time, he was a very arrogant king. He kills anyhow. There was a nation he wanted to conquer. So he sent his soldiers to go and tell that king that he's coming. All their wealth, their gold, their silver, they should keep them in a place for him. He's coming to collect it. He sent two of his personal assistants. When they got there, they met the king. The king laughed. The first thing that surprised them was that the people in the king's palace were using sword, cutting themselves to train. They would lie down the fire and be rolling to train. So the king heard the announcement. The king laughed. The king said, come. Told the two PA, say, come. He caught some of his servants. He said, climb the mountain. They climb on the mountain. He said, fall down and die. The servant fell down, died. Their brain opened. He brought a sword. He told them, I said, run into the sword. That one ran into the sword and he died. He called him and said, drop your head there. He said, cut off his head. They cut off his head. He told the twelve, they said, go and tell your king to come. I have men who are not ready to fight. They are ready to die. Let him come. The king sent an apology. You know what Esther said? If I perish, I perish. Can I shock you? Those who say if I perish, I perish, don't perish. <laughs> to dwell in safety. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? Your passion for spiritual warfare is the platform for physical funfare. If you must chop life, have abundance in life, then you must be ready to make declarations of slaughter. You must be ready to direct prayers to your foundations and altars. Am I communicating here? You must be ready. In Leviticus 25 verse 18, he said you shall dwell in the land in safety. In safety. In Psalm 12 verse 5, he said God set at him in safety. In safety. In safety. In Proverbs 21 31, he said though the child will be he said, though the child be prepared in the day of battle, Proverbs 21, 31. Though the child be prepared in the day of battle, but victory, safety, from the Lord. Be directly under the atmosphere of the outpour of grace and glory as you worship with us on Tuesday's Word Encounter, 4 p.m. as we get the in-depth of the Word of God. Also Friday, Solution Service with the Dynamic Mother, 5 p.m. Again on Sundays for our prophetic restoration and miracle service. Enjoying grace together. 
first service 7 30 a.m gmt plus one second service 8 30 a.m gmt plus one third service 10 a.m gmt plus one this is the home for you Omega Farm Ministries International Worship Center, Kilometer 132, Benin Okene Abuja Expressway, Auchi, Edo State, Nigeria. Well, Number two, he said, and you shall have corn and wine. Somebody say prosperity. The first thing when you get the license to destroy and you initiate destruction, the first thing you enjoy is what? Is what? Number two, prosperity. Sir, it is good to have money. Ah, I want to talk this money. Oh. It is good. In Proverbs 10, 15, he said the wealth of the strong man is his, of the wealthy man is his strong city. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and the destruction of the poor is their poverty. The destruction. Pro, sir, in Genesis 13 verse 2, he said, and Abraham was very rich. Genesis 14, 23. He said, I will not take a latchet from you lest you say I made Abraham rich. Proverbs 10, 22. The blessing of the Lord make it rich. Sir, it is good to have money. I want to talk. Oh. In Proverbs 22, verse 7. The Bible said, the rich rule over the poor. And the borrower is a servant to the lender. Anytime you go and meet somebody, you say, borrow me money. You are telling the person, you are my boss. Prosperity! He said, Abraham was very rich. People think Jesus was, was so poor. Yes. Jesus equated what he went through as poverty so that you can be rich. Let me show you something before I show you something else. Second Corinthians 8, 9. He said, we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich for your sake he became poor so that you through his poverty can become rich. In the Bible for he was hold on, the Jesus they say was poor. I'm going to show you something. B bring message version. Bring message. Bring the message version. You are familiar with the generosity of our master. As Jesus Christ, as rich as he was, he gave it all away for us. In one stroke, he became poor and we became rich. Hello. Kabalia Kata. If you must. And that's what I was trying to correct this morning, sir. Power to get wealth means, sir, there are people that have sown seed. They have paid tight. They have given offering. And they are still stranded. Because there is a power fighting their wealth. They sow. They give. They do all. But there is nothing come because there is a power. You are not created as a woman to live under a man's wealth. Hold on. There is something now called feminism. And people don't understand. Even those who are shouting feminism don't understand what it is to be a feminist. Feminism is not gender rivalry. Feminism is not gender competitiveness. It's not gender war. It's not even gender equality. Feminism is gender visibility. Stop shouting that women are not respected. If you make money as a woman, man will respect you. If there is, Yemi, if there, watch this. 
if there is something you contribute and bring to the table, your husband brings an issue, you can contribute to it. You can make impact. Respect is natural. Being an housewife, being a housewife is not good. Don't be a housewife. Don't be a housewife. Don't be a housewife. Any man that tells you not to walk, not to walk, to stay, and ask him for everything as inferiority complex. He feel if you go out, your eyes will be open. Excuse me, start doing something. See, uh, women, oh, women, the way women are treated, the way women are treated, women should not take their place. Women, the women are not meant for the kitchen. If there is nothing you are producing outside the kitchen, you remain in the kitchen. It's very natural. It's visibility. Those who are shouting feminism should begin to empower women. Tell them they can do business. They can run for politics. They can go for election. They can be professors. When you begin to change the narrative, tell them what they can become. Naturally, they will take over. What? Is it my wife now I want to beat? How? She is visible in my life. Once you are a source, you become a voice. Make impact and you will get your respect. Period. I hate any house I walk into and I see a bench outside. All of you women who are doing nothing and your husband says you should do nothing, report him to me. Reporting to me. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? As a woman, take your place. Be visible in your home. Be visible in your home. Take over your home. Both in business, both in the kitchen, both in the bedroom. Take over. Listen to me. How many of you are married men here? Yeah, married men, raise your hand. Any of your wife that tie rapper, report her to me. Report her to me. That walk to your room in the night and is tie rapper on the chest. What happened to nightgown? What happened to double and triple nightgown? Report her to pastor. Tear up on your chest. You rub bow down your neck. Like the general overseer of heat ratches. Your children have now copied from you. It's very funny. You see some person because they are Christian. They tear up on their chest. And we have one put one, one, one cellophane on their head, they call it shower cap and they are going like that like Umbeke. their children have not copied them you see children following them like civil servants that's how they are following them
Welcome back, welcome back. What a powerful word we just heard. I know you have been inspired, you have been transformed, you've been challenged in your walk with God. I want to pray with you and I believe God that you step into a new relationship with God, a new dimension. And if you need to give your heart to the Lord, you will say this after me. If you want to make a decision to make peace with God, say these words after me. My Heavenly Father, I come to you today just as I am. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I'm born again in Jesus' name. If you've prayed that prayer, I decree that from this day forward, ever backward, never, may the best of your past become the least of your future. And may God give you grace to stand firm, no turning back, in Jesus' name. If you're sick in body, you are healed. If you're bound, you are free. If you're lost, you're found. God bless you. Don't forget this. I'll see you tomorrow again. This is John Z. Suleiman saying, no matter what the matter is, you matter when it matters most. God bless you.